Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed on this very windy Sydney Sunday afternoon. Let's have a look at some interesting statistics regarding Australia's energy consumption. This first pie chart tells us a breakdown of the fuel type in our nation's energy consumption. Unfortunately, as you can see, renewables only make up a very small percentage at 6.2%, while the overwhelming majority is made up by our fossil fuel industry. As you can see, coal, gas and oil make up almost 94% of the energy consumption by fuel type here in this country, whereas renewables at 6.2% is a very small percentage for now. What is encouraging is that if you break down our energy consumption by industry, if you look at the purple, aqua and orange sectors, that is residential, commercial and transport, if you can convince those three sectors to switch over to renewables in the next you know, 10 to 20 years, then you're looking at more than 50% of our energy consumption by industry alone that might be using more renewables in the next few decades. Residential at 10.8%, I think that's uh, an easy sell to people to install rooftop solar and battery storage. Commercial, again, is the next easiest. You can convince businesses by subsidies to install rooftop solar if applicable and also have batteries in their businesses. And then transport, again, if electric cars take off in the next 10 to 20 years, then almost 40% of energy consumption is from transport. And uh, if you look at the stats alone in that category, an overwhelming majority comes from road transport. So again, that's cars, trucks, buses. Switch those vehicles over to electric then you're looking at possibly improving our uh, fuel and energy mix here in this country. So what percentage are we exactly aiming for? Like what target should we aim for in Australia? Well, what's the cleanest nation? And you can't beat Iceland. They run on 100% renewable energy. You look at this graph here, 13% comes from geothermal power and 87% comes from hydropower. Then that's 100% renewable energy sources. Look, I know what you're saying, Look, Iceland, 350,000 people compared to Australia, 20 odd million people. Sure, you know, it's 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 a long way off where we are, but look, I think it's achievable if we have the right attitude as a nation and if we have a goal in mind to reach or at least strive for a higher percentage of renewable sources of energy compared to what we have currently. The next thing I want to talk about is this picture that was sent in by one of our viewers, sent us this picture that he captured of a Cadillac on the South Eastern Freeway in Melbourne. Now you might think, well, that's just a car, but uh, first of all, it's a Cadillac. It's not very common here in Australia. And then the next thing you'll notice is that uh, it's a left-hand drive Cadillac. Now you're thinking, what is a left-hand drive Cadillac doing here on one of Melbourne's freeways? And you zoom in further even more, and you'll see that there is a stop button or a red button in the middle of the dash connected to some sort of laptop in the passenger seat. And uh, you start to ask questions like, what is that kind of car doing on Melbourne's freeways? Uh, you see some funny things in uh, on the roads, but this is uh, certainly unusual. I did a bit of research and I think this comes from a Holden plant that is still in Port Melbourne. And if you look at an article that was uh, written by Sophie Varath earlier this year on Renew Economy, GM Holden seeks 150 engineers to accelerate electric autonomous vehicles. So, and that article goes on to talk about how they're setting up this facility to try to do some research and development on electric and autonomous vehicles in Port Melbourne. So that's interesting. If you know some more about this, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment. That's certainly very interesting. If Australia is playing a part in helping the acceleration of electric and autonomous vehicles, that's really good to know. And finally, I just wanted to thank you guys once again for helping me reach $5,000 in donations for the Saw and Raw Festival for Special Olympics Australia, which is what I'm doing next weekend. Guys, thank you so much for your generosity. And more importantly, Team Tesla is still coming third, but we are really, really getting close to Team Lamborghini in second place. Have a look at this picture here. So Team Lamborghini is only $600 ahead of Team Tesla. So guys, $600, that's all we're asking. And then we can get into second place and then we can start chasing Team Porsche. But $600, it's like, you know, 12 donations of $50, 6 donations of $100. And that would really help Team Tesla with its fundraising efforts. And uh, it would really help Special Olympics Australia, of course. Just quickly again, also, there are um, ambassadors for this event. And have a look at the two ambassadors, um, Brendan Jones and Sandra Sully. Uh, now, Brendan Jones, commonly known as Jonesy on the WSM Breakfast Show, uh, he's quite a well-known presenter here in Sydney. And also Sandra Sully needs no introduction. She is just one of the uh, most respected journalists here in Australia. 
you know, if we can get to the top fundraisers position here uh, for this event, you know, we might get some recognition uh, from these two presenters on their respective networks. And wouldn't it be great to have Team Tesla there as the most generous fundraising team for this very, very important event for Special Olympics Australia. So guys, thank you very much for supporting us, but it's not too late if you want to uh, donate. I will leave a link in my description below and also as a pinned comment. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think about the energy mix here in Australia. And of course, I think everyone can agree that we can always do better with more renewables in this country and less reliance on fossil fuel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use my promo code THOMAS7208 to score 6 months of free supercharging. Happy charging!